In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to make a to-do list that is based on the Eisenhower method. And if you don't know what the Eisenhower method is, it's basically a way to organize your tasks into four categories. So if it's urgent and important, it will fall under the do it category. If it's not urgent, but still important, it'll fall under the schedule category, meaning you should schedule that task. If it's urgent, but not important, maybe you could delegate it to another person. You could ask a friend for help, ask a coworker or ask a family member. And last but not least, it's going to be the not urgent and not important, which is going to fall under the delete category. Category. So right away, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put down task, do, important, urgent, along with the category, right? So basically, th these are all the five uh, things that I have on my columns for my to-do list. And I'm just going to go ahead and make task and do due date a little bit bigger just so I could fit in the date and the time. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this and just uh, scale this uh, cell a little bit higher. And I'm just going to increase font size and um, center it right now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just format this due date column into time so I could go ahead and go over here to format number date time just so it automatically formats everything nicely for you if you have a date and a time now what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go to this important column I'm going to just select a couple of them and I'm just going to hit insert uh, checkbox along with the urgent as well I'm going to hit insert checkbox over here now, essentially what this does is obviously you can start categorizing your tasks, whether they're important, urgent, and so on and so forth. This category here is going to be an interesting one because this category will automatically tell us based on the Eisenhower method, whether our task is, you know, whether to do it, schedule it, delegate it, or delete it. Now, before I start categorizing this, what I want to do is I kind of want to title my uh, to-do list. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this one right here and insert one row above, and I'm going to name it whatever. So in this case, I'm just going to name it Jeremy's to-do list because it is my to-do list. And uh, just for you know the, the way of visualization sake, right? I'm just gonna merge all these uh, cells together. So now I have this nice to-do list over here. So for this category, I'm gonna show you guys a formula that I've used that I've actually created, and I'll post it down below in the description that you can just copy and paste. But you gotta make sure that your category will be on E3, okay? It's important that your, your cell is in E3 or else it might not work. So you can go ahead and copy paste that formula that I have down in the description below. I'm just going to hit enter and now it should start populating as soon as you enter a task. It's not going to populate right now, but it'll populate as soon as you enter a task. So for example, I'm going to go with shopping and shopping is important, not important and not urgent. So it's just going to tell me to put it in the delete category, right? Or if I do, for example, uh, assignment one, it's important and it's urgent. So she's going to automatically put it in the do category, so on and so forth. So you get the idea of it. So the way I like to make this to-do list is I like to color code everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this column E over here and I'm just going to hit right click and I'm going to hit conditional formatting. It's going to conditionally format all these cells depending on what values are in them. So for example, I'm going to do format cells. And if the text contains, for example, delete, I'm going to change the cell color to a little bit more of a red color. I'm going to change the cell color a little bit more to a red color so it looks just like this. All right, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to add another rule. And if the text contains, for example, do, I'm going to change the text, the uh, color to be green, just exactly like so. I'm going to hit done. If the text, for example, contains a schedule, then I'm going to change the cell color to be a little bit more like yellow. Yellow is like a schedule color. Um, and if it is going to contain um, delegate, right? I'm going to change it to a little bit more of a blue color. So make sure the capitalization uh, is kind of like correct in case it is case sensitive just to be safe. So now this time if we have, for example, shopping and you can see here that it'll be delete and it'll be just in red because we have made it conditionally just like that. Right. Um, if it's important, then it's going to be scheduled and it's going to turn yellow on its own. If it's urgent, then it's going to be a do. It's going to turn green on its own. Not important, but urgent. We're going to delegate it to somebody else. One more thing that I, you can actually do to this as well is having a sort mechanism or like a sorting type of thing. So what you can do is actually just select all your uh, items here, right click and just create a filter. And so from then, from this point on, you could just sort everything by uh, by the title. So here you could just sort A to Z, sort Z to A. You could even sort this by uh, color, by the fill color of the cells. You could sort the important thing by, you know, whether it's true or false, right? Um, you could, you know, you could sort it by many different things in many different ways in the way that you prefer it. And again, obviously, if you want to add a due date and do and a time, for example, here we are doing um, assignment one. And for example, the due date for assignment one is going to be fe uh, February 14th, 2024, which is just Valentine's Day. Obviously, if you have homework due that day, you better do it. So I'm going to hit 
you know hit enter here it'll automatically format the 5 p.m to 5 you know 00, 00 p.m and i'm going to mark it important and mark it urgent and boom here we go we have a do uh, category and again if you, ha if you have all this category scrambled you could always sort it by color there's an easy way to just sort everything sort your task and make sure you are on track so that's all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you all in the next video